I love the game of football. I love it. Yes! Greg Reed with a block. Yes! Yes! For the 10-5. Touchdown at I really think about, you know, the team and, you know, uh, putting points on the board for um, for the team and for the fans, you know, it just it's a feeling I really can't describe. Deep passion and exceptional skill align so rarely. I just, I, I know in the right time to make big plays and, you know, I stepped up and made a big play. Yet that perfect pair exists in Florida State sophomore player, Greg Reed. I just look at it, you know, it, Anybody on the field don't really have the heart like I do. While many like to compare him to past FSU players. Now it's just the punter he'll outrun it. It's going to be a touchdown, Florida State. My dad was actually a Cowboys fan, so I eventually, you know, end up um, looking up to Deion Sanders. The current Seminole cornerback wants to one up the best of them. I just, I just play, man. I can't. <laughs> Deion was a great player, you know. Um, I'm just, you know, praying to do, do the things he did and maybe a little better, but, you know, that's kind of for the fans. And I play football because I love it, of course, and, um, you know, score touchdowns. Is, and nothing really can do better than scoring touchdowns, really. Greg Reed is one of few players that can play on both sides of the field. But he wasn't always this talented. In fact, his road to success started out on the wrong foot, literally. My mom tell me all the time, you know, the first time I I really touched the ball. I, <laughs> she say I ran backwards. <laughs> uh, I turned around and ran backwards and <laughs> actually thought it was a touchdown. Though he's not running backwards anymore, he still can't help but to look back at a time when he first picked up the game of football. My family was just, you know, born into this football thing, and that, you know I carry that on to to college now. I kind of look at it as flat football. You know, if you don't put a hand on me, I'm, you know, I'm scoring. And that's what, you know, since I was young, that just built up into me. With such a long history in football, Reed has big plans, not only for himself, but for his seminal teammates. I, want, I really want to kiss that crystal ball, man. I, re I really want to kiss that crystal ball, so I'm going to do whatever it takes to do that. And if I get a chance to, to play in a national championship game, you know, it's just it's something that we're going to care with us for, the whole, for our whole life, and that's what I really want to do. Reed may not have won that crystal ball just yet, but number five knows why he has the drive to do it. Gregory is a kid that grew up kind of rough and, you know, just have a love football and actually a very shy person, but, you know, um, a young man that's changing his life around and doing something he loves to do. That's what I can say. And with that, there isn't much left to say. And come November, the Seminole sophomore hopes you can read all about it. I'm Madison Elkin for Seminole Sports Magazine.